Deep within the bosom of an age-old civilization, a team of archaeologists unearthed a relic, swathed in riddles and cloaked in the fabric of time. The relic lay cradled in the Earth's grasp, hidden in an unremembered crypt that hadn't felt the warmth of the sun for eons. The stone walls of the crypt whispered cryptic tales of a bygone era, of a society flourishing amidst this now fossilized civilization. The team was a mix of scholars, thrill-seekers, and insatiably curious minds who had pledged their existence to unveiling the unknown, to excavating the secrets buried deep within the sands of time. They were seasoned archaeologists, their eyes ablaze with the exhilaration of discovery, their hands steady with the calmness of experience. Each relic they revealed added another piece to the intricate puzzle of human history, another stitch to mankind's intricate tapestry. However, this relic was an anomaly. It was shrouded in an aura of mystery, its origins lost to time, its purpose hazy. It was an enigmatic find, its surface etched with cryptic symbols that defied their understanding. It seemed to beckon to them, summoning them from the annals of the past, whispers of untold tales and erased histories emanating from it. A fervor of intrigue was sparked within them, an unquenchable thirst for knowledge ignited. They found themselves magnetically drawn to it, ensnared by its enigmatic aura. Conversations orbited around it, theories birthed and subsequently annihilated, efforts made to unlock its cryptic nature. A palpable tension hung in the air, the relic and enigma that dominated their thoughts and snared their senses. The artifact was subjected to a gauntlet of rigorous tests, each more relentless than the last. Yet it remained an enigma, its secrets locked away yet untold. The more they ventured to probe it, the more questions arose ensconcing them deeper within its mystery. The relic was a conundrum, a puzzle, a riddle that refused to yield its secrets. What was its purpose? Why was it here? What were the arcane symbols trying to convey? These queries echoed in their minds, bouncing off the silent stone walls, intensifying the mystery. It was a tantalizing puzzle that had ensnared them, their minds caught in an infinite loop of curiosity and confusion. What they were oblivious to, however, was that the artifact was not merely a memento of a bygone era, but a harbinger of unspeakable horrors. Its enigmas were not intended to be solved, its truths not meant to be unveiled. For beneath its ancient exterior harbored a power of catastrophic proportions, a force that once unshackled could bring about the annihilation of everything they cherished. The artifact was not just a relic, it was a dormant beast waiting for its moment to erupt. As the artifact was disturbed from its perpetual slumber, a palpable wave of terror began to cascade through the camp. The initial shock was quickly swallowed by an oppressive, unsettling stillness that loomed like an ominous storm cloud. The dust particles seemed to linger in the air, caught in a timeless freeze frame as if every second was being stretched into infinity. Every gaze was riveted to the unearthed relic, a mystifying monument from an era that time itself had forgotten. It was a silent whisper of a long-deceased civilization, now cradled in the trembling hands of those mortal beings who had dared to violate its sanctity. The moment the ancient relic felt the touch of human skin, an uncanny silence fell upon the archaeologist. It felt as though a sacred covenant had been shattered, a celestial boundary violated, a primordial line trespassed. A visceral sense of dread swiftly replaced the intoxicating euphoria of their unprecedented find. Their jubilant cheers were abruptly suffocated, replaced by a silence so profound that every pulsating heartbeat echoed ominously through the camp, sounding a chilling alarm. The air grew thick and oppressive as if trying to suffocate them, the very fabric of time and space around them warping and contorting inexplicably. The atmosphere was electric, with an energy that was alien and incomprehensible. It was as if they had trespassed into a realm, timeless and forbidden their intrusion unwelcome and intrusive. An eerie change had seized the surroundings, a supernatural shift that scoffed at any scientific rationale. The nights evolved into a concert of terror, punctuated by enigmatic sounds that ricocheted off the desolate expanses of the camp. The once tranquil nights became the playground for a macabre symphony, where the deafening silence was violated by chilling whispers that seemed to emanate from the void, phantom footsteps with no discernible source and the bone-chilling laughter of unseen specters. The camp seemed to morph into a sentient spinning chilling tales of a time long gone. The days offered no sanctuary from the terror, teeming with apparitions that seemed ripped straight from their darkest nightmares. 
They were tormented by visions of ethereal figures that seemed to materialize and vanish at will, fleeting shadows in the corner of their eyes that played tricks with their sanity, and a constant bone-deep feeling of being under surveillance. Phantoms of the past seemed to rise from the very heart of the artifact, haunting the waking hours of the increasingly paranoid team. Even the most courageous amongst them quivered under the relentless onslaught of these spectral visions. As the terror grew, the team was struck with the horrifying realization that they had not merely excavated an artifact, but had unleashed a doom-laden fate. A curse that was no longer a figment of ancient texts and local folklore, but a tangible, horrifying reality they were being forced to endure. The air became dense with remorse and regret, replaced by a fear that was as alien as it was paralyzing. With each passing day, the ominous reality of the curse took on a life of its own. They found themselves trapped within the confines of the camp, unable to flee from the wrath they had unwittingly invited. The artifact sat ominously at the center, a mocking testament to their folly, a symbol of the terror that had them ensnared. Their dreams of scholarly recognition and historical breakthroughs were abruptly replaced by the grim reality of an ancient curse. They found themselves caught in a waking nightmare, where every day was an ordeal and every night a desperate struggle for survival. The curse was not a mere legend, but a terrifying reality they were now forced to confront. In the face of the encroaching darkness, they fought with every remaining ounce of their strength, their hands clawing feverishly at the artifact. Their futile attempts to return it to its rightful place were met with an indescribable force that seemed to laugh in the face of their desperation. Each touch on the cold stone surface of the artifact sent spasms of chilling terror through their bodies, piercing their hearts like shards of ice. It was a terrifying dance with death as they struggled to break the curse that had been unleashed upon them, a curse that bore the wrath of centuries. The supernatural forces they had awakened from their slumber were not of this world. Their power was beyond comprehension, an ultimate force of nature that was relentless in its pursuit of freedom. An entity too powerful, too unyielding, too determined to break loose from the shackles of time and space. These forces scoffed at their attempts at containment, refusing to be caged again, refusing to return to the oblivion they had been drawn out from. The air became a tangible wall of fear thick with tension as they faced the final confrontation with the curse. The stone walls of the excavation site seemed to close in on them, a suffocating claustrophobic nightmare, reflecting the oppressive weight of their predicament. The artifact pulsed ominously in the center of their desperate efforts, its aura becoming more intense, throbbing with an energy that seemed sentient, its power reaching a climax. Their whispered prayers echoed off the walls, each pause filled with the fear they dared not voice. The artifact, still radiating its eerie glow, seemed to mock their desperation. Its pulsating energy a constant taunting reminder of the power they had recklessly unleashed. A power they were too weak and ill-prepared to contain. And then, as abruptly as it had begun, there was silence. A silence so profound, so deafening that it seemed to freeze time itself. The artifact ceased pulsating, its eerie glow faded, and the whispering winds died down. Their prayers hung in the air, suspended in the deathly silence, unanswered. The silence was total, a chilling testament to the solitude they faced. The echoes of their futile struggle against the overwhelming forces faded away into the void, and in that silence the terror consumed them one by one. Their screams of agony were swallowed by the silence, their bodies turned into grotesque statues of fear, their eyes wide open, reflecting the horrors they had witnessed. The once vibrant team of archaeologists lay wasted, sacrificed to the ancient curse they had foolishly awakened. Their end was not marked by the subtle passage of time, but by the terrifying force of supernatural terror they had unwittingly unleashed. 